The Qualified Business Income, or QBI deduction, is a deduction up to 20% of Qualified Business Income, or QBI, from a trade or business, including income from a pass-through entity. This includes Qualified Business Income flowing into an individual return from an S-Corp or partnership. Let's take a look at how QBI is calculated on the individual return from K-1 income. On this return, we have a single filer who earns wages and dividends from her S-Corp, receiving both a W-2 and a K-1. The $65,000 in wages has been entered on the W-2 data entry screen. If the S-Corp was prepared in Drake Tax, the K-1 information could, of course, be exported to the individual return. But for this example, let's look at how to enter the K-1 manually, because many times you may not have prepared the entity return. On this return, we have $85,000 entered on line 1 for ordinary income and $5,000 on line 11 for Section 179 deduction. Moving on to the next tab of the screen for lines 12 through 17, we can enter the QBI information from the K-1. Line 17V is reported as 85,000, 17W is 65,000, and 17X is 5,000. In view mode, on Schedule E, page 2, the total income from the S-Corp appears on line 32, $80,000 which flows to Schedule 1, Line 17. Since there are no other items of additional income reported, $80,000 flows to Line 6 of Form 1040, where it is added to the $65,000 in wages on Line 1. The QBI amount is calculated on the QBI Explanation Worksheet. On Line 1, we see the ordinary income amount from the K-1, Line 17V, of $85,000. To arrive at the QBI amount, certain adjustments must be made, including the subtraction of Section 179 on Line 6 of $5,000, which gives us a QBI amount on Line 10 of $80,000. The QBI amount flows to the K-1 worksheet, in this case, the QBI Simple Worksheet. On Line 1, we see the trade or business listed with a QBI amount of $80,000. Since there was only one trader business generating QBI, the total QBI for this return is $80,000 on line two. The first calculation made is 20% of QBI, which is $16,000 on line five. However, limitations must be considered. The QBI deduction is limited to 20% of taxable income before QBI, less any capital gains. Line 11 displays the taxable income before the QBI deduction, which is $133,000, the AGI minus the standard deduction. Since this return has no capital gains, the income limitation is computed at 20% of taxable income before the QBI deduction, or $26,600, which is more than the amount computed on line five above. Therefore, the QBI deduction is not limited and the full $16,000 may be deducted. This amount flows to 1040 line 9 and is subtracted along with the standard deduction from AGI to arrive at taxable income. For more videos relating to QBI and Drake Tax, go to drakesoftware.com videos, then select the Tax Reform category.